welcome once again we want to look at the solve a process uh, this is a question which can come in paper 2 or paper 1 so we want to analyze the solve a process using different flowcharts uh, first for you to understand any process there are basic things you must understand the first thing you must know is the raw materials what are the raw materials in that specific uh, process the raw materials you must know the next thing you should know those process that require catalyst you must know the catalyst used in that process but for the survey we don't use a catalyst so let us go straight for survey and then we will talk about the other processes later the flow chart below summarizes the steps involved in the production of sodium carbonate so the survey process is basically for the production of sodium carbonate you see it once at the question that follows so before even you go to the question you should be able to analyze this diagram or this uh, this diagram and even answer every question before looking at the question where so most of the people or most of the students uh, they don't know where to begin the process and that becomes a challenge now uh, we have different uh, chambers here but i want you always to know the first where the reaction starts is at the carbonator where is the carbonator so some questions you will not find the carbonator you will not be given the name of the carbonator like this so what do you do we will know the raw materials here we have ammonia ammonia gas mixed with sodium chloride brine to form ammo ammoniaco brine to form ammoniaco brine therefore it becomes important for you to to know that these are the starting materials where so when a diagram like this you look at where is ammonia and uh, our ammonia problem getting into so and that you should know that's where the process begins right so in case you don't have a carbonator you should see where the, the point that the arrow pointing towards the uh, from where the ammonia problem is getting into somewhere to that chamber that is ammonia prime is entering that one is obviously the carbonator because ammonia prime which is a mixture of ammonia and the brain brain is sodium chloride which is concentrated sodium chloride so where the this mixture ammonium ammonia prime is entering that is the carbonator very important to note where is the ammonia prime entering that one is the carbonator a uh, carbonate after ammonia getting into there must be a carbon dioxide getting in so here it is carbon dioxide which is getting in where is carbon dioxide coming from from the kiln what is happening in the kiln here lime lime is calcium carbonate is being heated when cal uh, calcium carbonate is heated it produces co2 plus carbon plus uh, calcium carbonate calcium carbonate when you heat, sorry, not uh, the calcium carbonate, when you heat, it produces carbon four oxide and calcium oxide. So here, this solid is supposed to be solid X here. So what is coming down here is calcium carbonate, ah, sorry, calcium oxide, and then carbon four oxide enters into the carbonator. So in the carbonator, two reactions occurs. We can write it in a uh, general and then or we can write them the, the reaction separately so the reaction that takes place in the carbonator you should know it is ammonia plus sodium chloride plus water this is ammoniac brine right once it gets this mixture is ammoniac brine brine once it gets into the carbonator it combines with carbon carbon dioxide from the kiln to form sodium hydrogen carbonate plus ammonium chloride so these are the things this is the reaction which occurs 
in the carbonator but we can write this reaction this reaction occurs in two steps we are going to look at that now we are in the carbonator we have formed this uh, this one is a solid and this one is an aqueous then this one comes down here from the carbonator filtration occurs so this is the process physical process that occurs filtration so here there is a filter the solid which is sodium remains right so this okay this one is going this way so after filtration ammonium ammonium chloride goes this way and then uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate comes down here this is sodium hydrogen carbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate undergoes heating this one is combustion process w is burning or heating uh, to form sodium carbonate plus water plus carbon 4 oxide uh, so we have finished here we have obtained the the final the product this sodium carbonate the next one ammonia ammonia chloride gets into this chamber this chamber we call it ammonia ammonia generator ammonia generator into the ammonia generator so what happens in the ammonia generator once ammonium chloride enters the ammonia generator there is calcium I do, we obtain the calcium oxide here this uh, calcium oxide uh, gets reacted with water we call it slaking slaking that is calcium oxide plus water it is called slaking so here it forms calcium hydroxide so calcium hydroxide comes in to this chamber where it means uh, where it meets ammonia ammonium chloride so the reaction here now ammonia ammonium chloride combines with calcium hydroxide generating ammonia and the calcium chloride comes as the byproduct the byproduct is calcium chloride and the water is recycled so the carbon dioxide obtained here is recycled back to the carbonator it's taken back to the carbonator so once you go now to the questions you realize that you have answered everything that you you have answered most of the questions name the process illustrated it is called the solfe process identify the starting raw materials the starting raw materials it is limestone limestone is called calcium carbonate that's uh, another thing we need this one is to give us co2 so it is limestone is a raw material another one is uh, we need sodium chloride and another one we need ammonia gas so these are the major raw materials that we need even water is needed to form to mix this to form the brain therefore what is another raw material right equation for the two reactions that occur in the carbonate i told you in the carbonate to 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 two, two reactions occurs the first reaction is that ammonia react with carbon 4 in the carbonate plus water to form ammonium hydrogen carbonate that is the first equation now this ammonium hydrogen carbonate formed reacts with sodium chloride to form sodium hydrogen chloride to form sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride so this one so this is the first equation the second equation that occurs is that now this sodium hydrogen uh, this is uh, this ammonia hydrogen carbonate combines with sodium chloride to form ammonium chloride which is aqueous plus sodium hydrogen carbonate but I have already given you the overall reaction but if you are asking like this question asking the two separate equations you write them like that name two substances that are recycled substances that are recycled in this process we recycle carbon 4 oxide and ammonia is recycled this at the major even water is recycled 
so the x so the dx is calcium oxide calcium oxide process w it is combustion burning Write an equation for the reaction that occurs solution Z. The solution Z is ammonium is calcium chloride. So the reaction is that ammonium chloride combines with calcium hydroxide forming ammonia gas which is regenerated plus water plus calcium chloride which is now called here uh, Z, solution Z. Apart from softening hard water, state to other uses of sodium carbonate. So in the solvent process, you must know the uses of the sodium carbonate. Why, why is sodium carbonate being generated in the solvent process? What are the uses of it? So uh, one of them is softening hard water. But you have been asked no, apart from this. So you don't have to include this one. So apart from this, sodium carbonate is used in glass making it is used in glass making it is used in a paper industry so apart from this data this the are the data to use so you should know the uses of sodium carbonate and the sodium hydrogen carbonate formed in the process the flowchart below shows industrial manufacture of sodium carbonate. Study it. Answer the questions that follow. Now you look at the question. They have been given us chamber 1, chamber 2, chamber 3, chamber 4, chamber 5. So it is not going to be easy for you to know which chamber is the carbonator, which chamber is the roster, which chamber is what. But from the raw materials provided, you can identify which one is chamber what and which one is chamber what. Now let us start giving the chambers the names. The chambers. I don't know whether it is the chamber or the chamber. Don't worry. Therefore, we see ammonia getting into chamber one. Very important. Ammonia is the first raw materials. When a process is taking place, we must start with a raw material. My friend, that's what we are saying. You must see where the raw materials is getting into. So ammonia is getting into this chamber. Sodium chloride is getting into this chamber. When they are going to meet, this and this is going to form ammoniac brine. Ammoniac brine is the one which combines with carbon dioxide to form. So, if they are getting here, chamber one, then chamber one here, we are going to form ammoniac brine. Now, this ammoniac brine is getting to chamber Two. And you can see clear that in chamber 2, carbon dioxide is coming in. Right? So, definitely, this one is the carbon, the carbonator. Where carbon dioxide getting into is the carbonator. Therefore, now, ammoniac brine getting into chamber 2 meets with carbon dioxide for the reaction to occur. After that, a process occurs here, which is filtration. You should know that. In chamber 4. So chamber 4 is fail filtration. Right? Filtration is in chamber 4. So after filtration has, take, has taken place, uh, we have the solid which is sodium hydrogen carbonate. And then this C is ammonia ammonium chloride. Because when we filter, we know the, the two things that are formed here. The two products in the carbonator is sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride. Those are the two products that are formed there. So after filtration, this separates out and this one is goes to the roster. So this chamber is called the roster. The roster. And we can see clear that this ammonia, ammonium chloride is getting to chamber 3. And the chamber 3 we are seeing calcium hydroxide getting into it. So this one is the ammonia. 
ammonia genera generator so once you have that concept like that it becomes very easy to know what you are going to do uh, so if i know that then i know d is going to be sodium chloride uh, sorry calcium calcium chloride d is calcium chloride i know the reaction which is taking place here it is ammonium chloride ammonium chloride combining with calcium hydroxide from the sli from the silica this one comes from the silica so name the substances a b c d so a i know is ammo ammoniacal brine ammoniacal what brine ammoniacal brine is a mixture of ammonia and um, uh, and sodium chloride concentrated sodium chloride c c we have already done that that's why if you have done the name but they are asking the name therefore you should give the name ammo ammonium chlor chloride d is calcium chloride calcium chloride a b c so b b is not here so b was mistaken it came here so b is sodium hydrogen carbonate very easy very simple that's how you score your marks right equation for the reaction taking place in chamber 3 and chamber 5 chamber 3 is the ammonia generator we know that now ammonia ammonium chloride combines with calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide to generate ammonia first to generate water and then the byproduct which is calcium chloride So you should know the status this one is aqueous aqueous gas liquid aqueous we have done with that equation chamber five chamber five is the roster roster it is sodium hydrogen carbonate being heated to go to give sodium carbonate this one water and carbon four so sodium hydrogen carbonate plus no heat it gives sodium carbonate plus co2 plus wo plus water this one is a solid solid gas liquid name the physical processes in chamber 4 and chamber 5 chamber 4 is filtration so the physical is filtration Filtration, filtration, filtration. Chamber five, the physical there is drying. The, this sodium hydrogen carbonate is dried then heated. Therefore, the physical is drying. Name one source of cheap carbon dioxide for solvent process. For it is from limestone. Limestone is calcium carbonate. This also comes from coke. Those are the two sources of the, the carbon dioxide used in the solvent process. Now, in this question, look, you study the question. Look, look at the raw materials where they are getting into. Now, here we have limestone we know limestone is to provide us with uh, carbon dioxide so gas a is carbon four that one is obvious from limestone is carbon four so we are adding water what is remaining from the reaction with the calcium uh, limestone is calcium carbonate when heated it forms calcium oxide so calcium oxide plus water in this one we have uh, calcium hydroxide waiting for a solution c 
combines with solution C in this chamber and this is the chamber we call ammonia generator. Now we have this, so we know the process starts here, therefore this one is obviously the carbonator. Why? Carbon 4 oxide is getting into it, ammoniac or brine is getting into it, so this one is the carbonator. So after the carbonator, we form sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride, which is being filtered here. Uh, the solution, because you have been seeing solution, is uh, ammonium chloride because it is the solution and this one is the solid and the solid is sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium hydrogen. So it is being heated, sodium hydrogen carbonate to give us this. So once you have analyzed that, you should know which one is gas this. Gas B is obvious, it is ammonia because it is ammonia that is produced here, ammonia generator going up and even when you don't know that the ammonia is generated here you should know that this is ammonia brine. then this is sodium chloride so sodium chloride combines with ammonia to form ammonia brine. name gas A gas A is name carbon for oxide gas B is ammonia gas Name liquid C, name that is uh, ammonium chloride. Solid D, sodium hydrogen carbonate. Write equation for the reaction in tower B. Tower B is the carbonator. Now this one is the general equation. You, you, you should not cram that. You should know that in ammonia out first it is ammonia core that is getting into the carbonator meeting with carbon dioxide. And what is ammonia brine? Ammonia brine is sodium mixed with ammonia gas mixed with water, right? And then into the carbonator they find this carbon four. No, so everything here forms sodium hydrogen carbonate plus ammonium chloride this one is a solid this one is aqueous you are done that is the reaction in the, uh, the, the carbonator R chamber R we know there we have calcium hydroxide plus ammonium chloride forming ammonia plus water plus calcium chloride the byproduct and that is all name the product this one is T this is T. The only byproduct in the sulfur process is calcium chloride. What is the work of calcium chloride? It's used as a drying agent. It's used as a drying agent. I hope you have heard, I guess that you have heard uh, where we use anhydrous calcium chloride as a drying agent. Name two substances that are recycled. CO2 is recycled. Name. So you give the name. Carbon. Four. Oxide. Ammonia is recycled. You can see after ammonia being regenerated here, it is recycled.